What's going on guys? So today we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 5 and it's having a backlight issue. It seems like it's not turning on, but it is turning on but we just cannot see the screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this apart and get it, get it to the other side of the board. Typically the fuse should be on the other side of the connection for the display. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this apart and then we'll get it under the microscope. All right guys, so I have this uh, taken apart. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys exactly where it is. Uh, there's a fuse that's blown on this. Um, it's reading incorrectly. The fuse is right here in this corner on the other side of the board. So I'll kind of zoom in here on this. So if we look right here, it says FG3301. So it's this fuse right here. Um, I'll go ahead and zoom out and show you guys on the multimeter here. It should be reading zero ohms, and look at that. So that's definitely shorted, we need to switch that out. So I'm gonna get this on the, on the microscope here and uh, show you guys and we'll get started on uh, repairing it. So I got it on the microscope here. Let's try to find it. There it is, FG3301. It's uh, this fuse here. Now I do have some in stock that are similar. It's a little bit bigger, um, but we're gonna we're gonna try to do this. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this with this. We'll get some flux on this. There we go. We got that off. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, add a little bit more solder onto the pad so it can hold it really well. Add flux right here. All right, now we'll get our other connection here, or the fuse, our new fuse. And we're gonna put it right here. All right, right there. Get it nice and heated up. So what I like to do at this point is I'll go ahead and add some uh, flux, and then add a little bit more solder on the sides so it's holding it really well. And make sure it's like seated on there really well. Make sure it's going underneath and attaching to the solder pad on the board. So this should work. Spray that off. Clean it up a little bit. All right, got that cleaned up. I'll spray it real quick. And I think that looks good. So we will put this back together and uh, see if it's working. The first thing I want to do is check it and see if this reads zero. Should be zero or 0 0.5, 0 0.1, doesn't matter. I got it on there, yep, there we go. 0 0.6, this should be good. 0 0.8, perfect. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this all together here. I got the board in here, it should be good. Now we're going to go ahead and open this up slowly and then do a quick plug from the USB-C and say Bismillah. Bismillah. Is it coming on? Come on. Lights on. It's thinking. It's thinking. So what happens whenever you take it apart all the way, it resets and doesn't come on right away so it takes some time so be patient we said bismillah so it should it should work oh and we got it we got a repair right there it's working so the backlight is fixed there you go guys thank you so much for watching um i hope that helped you guys out now that you know that if the backlight's not working it's most likely a fuse so thank you so much for watching hope you guys liked it uh don't forget to subscribe and like this video and share it with others and and let me know if you have any other um, any other ways of uh, diagnosing this issue. Um, if it's not the fuse, it might be something else. So if you guys know anything else about these models, definitely write down in the comments below. And uh, see you next time.